What's going on guys? In today's video, I'm gonna go through and show you all the different variations of oats that I like to use in my diet, whether I'm cutting or bulking. So, what are we waiting for? Let's get started. First off, what I like to do, I like to mix everything into the blender and I like to blend up my oats. I like the smooth consistency that it does give me, especially when I'm mixing in the protein powder. For me, it just makes it much, much easier, right? So what I do is I turn on my scale, I let it adjust, zero out as you do. I grab my oats, 50 grams of oats. So what I'll do in here. Now, the oats that I'm using is quick oats. I'm not using the rolled oats. So I like to use quick oats. It's just obviously quicker than using rolled oats. But then again, I sort of get a similar, it's not exactly the same, but if I blend in rolled oats and blend it in with everything, it sort of gives it a similar, similar texture. But again, not the same, but you know, if you want to use rolled oats, by all means, go ahead. After that, I like to mix in my almond milk. Really low in calories and normal milk. If you're someone that prefers whole milk, full cream milk, that'll probably be better for like bulking purposes. If you know need extra calories, full cream milk's probably the best way to go. I'm using 300 mils of almond milk, which is only 50 calories. So it's like barely anything. And then from there, what I do is I get my protein. Now I chuck it in a nice Tupperware container. It's just easier for me because I buy like the big, big tub. I've also got a link in the description that I use. Macros on it seem pretty good. So one scoop seems to be about 35 grams. Right there. Now we're going for a lower calorie version. Now, if you want to go even more lower calories, there's this vanilla syrup. Now the protein powder that I'm also using, if you can't tell already, is actually a vanilla flavored protein. I feel like it's the most versatile protein you can get. If you get chocolate, it may not mix well with certain other ingredients. So I just stuck with vanilla. It tastes the best. Then you can add some more vanilla. This Queen's vanilla maple syrup, sugar-free. Also has an apple and cinnamon flavor, which I don't have at the moment, but that's always good to switch it up. But for the purpose of this one, what I like to use and what's more common, I like to use honey. And this is gonna be 35 grams, 118 calories. So if you guys wanna save yourself 118 calories, what's it saying? Per serving, about 35 mils is like 20 calories for 35 mils. Now you open it up. You could also go a bit less if you're happy with the amount of sweetness. The honey or the maple syrup, you get away with how sweet you like your oats. I particularly like them pretty sweet, so I put about 30 grams. And then honey goes really, really well with cinnamon. And don't worry guys, cinnamon literally doesn't have any calories in there, especially the amount that we're using, it's so strong. All right, so just grab. So that's a lot. I mean, if you, if you like the taste of cinnamon, then by all means, you know, you could put a lot more in there. Apparently it's got some benefits in there. Supposedly it helps with weight loss. So why the hell not? All right, then from there, this is the fun part. <laughs> fun part. Blend it all together. That looks pretty good. Good, good. Trying to get as much of that as possible. Look at that beauty. All right, now it's a bit watery at the moment, but we chuck this in the microwave, put about three minutes. For me, I use this blender so regularly just for my oats. What I like to do is just a nice bit of a rinse. It gets rid of it. Since it's gonna be used for the same thing every day with my oats, I usually just give it a nice rinse. Now we wait for it to go round and round, to heat up, let it rise. By blending the oats, and then also by adding the protein powder before you put it in the microwave, that all in combination helps it achieve more of a thicker consistency in like the two minutes. As you can see, it is already starting to rise a little bit. So you have to also be careful. Some microwaves, right, you can't really see what's going on. So you have to quickly check. But the amount of times this thing has exploded on me and I've had to clean it up. I guess we're paranoid sometimes. But uh, we'll take it out. Ooh, that is, that is hot. But what I'll do is I'll use the towel here, lucky. Grab that. Whoop. Right, and we'll just mix it around just to evenly like get that nice consistency because the top part seems to be a bit more cooked. All right, that seems to be a lovely, lovely consistency. All right, and for the purposes of aesthetics, I'll just drizzle a little bit more honey just there. And that right there is 500 calories of nice nutrition. 
And I'm telling you, you have that, you're gonna be nice and full than had you had anything else for breakfast. If you have any other cereal, right, you're gonna be hungry in a couple of hours. This keeps you full and this is healthy. This gives you sustainable energy throughout the day. It's something sweet. The best time to either have this in the morning, which is what I do, that makes a decent portion size. You can customize and play around with it as much as you want. That's a really good thing with oats. This is the low calorie version that I like to use. Next up, what is going on guys? I'm with my friends here, Luke and Francis. You guys have been training, going to the and gym? I the gym for about a year. Very nice. Um, a lot of progress, just coming and going, you know, trying to do as much as I can. And yeah. That's good, good stuff. Now, you know, one thing you, you're slowly working on is uh, slowly, slowly upping in eating more and more, right? Because you struggle to eat a lot, don't you? Yeah, and that's all right. That's all right because you know you slowly, slowly expand your stomach and train your stomach to, you know. Exert. What about what about you, Francis? How's what's your story? Uh, uh, I've been going to the gym for a few years, on yeah. and off, on and off, changing yeah. schedules, changing yeah, you know, different stuff, diets, protein shakes, whatever. So <laughs> yeah, keen to try it. Keen to try it too. Yeah. yeah. So we're gonna have two different flavor slash variations, right? Pretty similar but different in their own way. All right, so first, I'm gonna go make a bowl of oats suitable for him, right, to bulk up. It's gonna be about 1,191 calories. So we'll round it up. Both of them are gonna be about 1,200 calories each, right, of pure protein. Not, not pure protein, but it's gonna be protein in there, there's gonna be some fats in there, and there's gonna be plenty of carbs in there to fuel their workouts and get stronger, right? So first, prep up the blender. So this time, instead of 50 grams, we're up in it. I'll give him 90 grams. Nice, that's about 90. Instead of using almond milk, it's kind of a waste, I reckon, especially if you're trying to bulk, I wouldn't use almond milk. So instead, it's actually gonna be more, because I calculated for almond milk. But I'm gonna head over to the fridge. Pure life start, low in fat. I mean, ideally you'd get the full cream milk, right? But with what we're working with today, so I'm gonna calculate that right now real quick. It takes two seconds, what you do, you just scan that right there. Boom, so that's 200 calories. 23 grams of carbs, five grams of fat. Wow, this one's got actually 17.6 grams of protein. So you're getting extra protein, you're getting protein galore. Then we get the protein powder. Now obviously, bulking, we're gonna double it, right? We're gonna have about 80 grams of nice protein powders. Always gonna go extra, right? Perfect. That's in there. Now, we're gonna put in half a banana, right? Because I'm splitting it between them two. You can put a full banana in there, but I find sometimes a banana is very strong and overpowers the taste with everything else. Whoa! All right, we've got to add in our peanut butter. See those oils right there? Oh, that good. This is, this is the healthy stuff. None of this processed peanut butter. I mean, it is still processed, but you know, it's a healthier version. We'll use this end of the spoon, right? Because it's easier to mix in. I want you to get me a spoonful of peanut butter. Put about 50 grams as measurements. All right, and then to top it off, get some of this chocolate, chocolate Hershey's syrup, about 45 grams. Nice chocolate peanut butter. Now, if you're one of these skinny guys, right, that are out there that need a bulk up, which I'm so jealous of, right, you can get away with doing this. And then the fun part, you get to blend it all together, mix it all together. Francis is gonna fill up his water bottles. Man's thirsty. You can't do much about that. You do the honors for me, man. Look at that. Nice, nice, nice. If you really didn't have time to put it in the microwave and eat it, you could essentially drink this as a thin shake, not a thick shake. Because look how thin it is. Now this one might take a little longer, all right? I'll go four minutes for this one. Just keep an eye on it. So, it's, we've got 40 seconds left. It's already starting to rise and thicken up. So what I'll do, I'll grab another spoon. Sometimes when you go bigger portion sizes, it takes a while. Because as you can see, the outside starts to cook. It's mixed around a little bit because it's still watery, right? It's still... Put it for another minute and a half, see how that goes. Right. Oh, it's got a bit lopsided, that one. I'll keep it a little bit longer. Right, nice chocolatey bowl of oats. Whoa. Bon Appetit. Maybe I may have left it a bit too, too much. It's a bit thicker, so what I'll do is I'll grab a glass and I'll add some extra water. Now what we do is just add a bit of water in there. It gives it a nice water down. You just keep doing it until you find, until you get your desired consistency, right? Cut the edges, look at that. All right, now it is hot, so be careful, all right? Bon apple tea. Yeah, you're gonna give it a nice blowy. Well done. 
Well done. What does it taste like? Not as banana -y as a four. It's very chunky and I like it. You like it? Mm. Okay, insane macros. All right, so this bowl here, if you can finish it. Ideally, if you can't finish it all in one sitting, you can split it up and put it into meal prep containers. Like meals like this, if you're someone who likes to eat a lot, no, you're not. I need, I need to talk to the viewers a little bit, man. Right. I've got to tell them some important information. Luke here, he might have to split this up into like, you know, several different meals and, until he adjusts to, uh, until his stomach adjusts to eating like large quantity amounts of food. But as much as you train a muscle, you've got to sort of train your stomach to sort of be able to fit that, right? To achieve the goal that you want to achieve. Pretty much the macros on this are insane, right? So you've, it's 1200 calories, 124.4 grams of carbs. You could say that's unnecessary or you, that could help fuel, fuel your workout, especially when you're trying to like, you know, increase in weight. You have 37.2 grams of fat, right? That's good, right? That's good, that helps your hormones, helps regulate your testosterone. You know, if you just, my hand's already trying to get some, he's hungry. It's got 84.1 grams of protein per meal. You could say that, oh, you know, it's unnecessary to have all that big amount of protein in one meal, then by all means split it up. It's insane. Um, if you can finish it or just, you know, with oats, I mean, you can warm it up multiple times if you like it warmed up. But again, you could chuck it in the fridge. Some people have overnight oats and that's cold, right? It's really, really similar to this, right? Not much difference, but this is really good, you know, so. Bon apple tea, brother. Be great. No worries, you like it. Now, moving on to the second version, which is pretty much identical to this with some slight changes, right? Because Francis seems like he could probably eat a little bit more. What do you reckon? I wish I was Francis. <laughs> All right, take your meal, go, go, go. All right, guys, I'm back this time with Francis. All right, now we're gonna change things up a little bit. Now that bowl, I kind of realized, that's, that's, that was a huge bowl, right? If you can finish that, then you know what? Good on you. But now I'm gonna make a bit of changes. So what I'm doing now is we're still having the 80 grams of protein, the two scoops, right? Grab this one out again. All right, this time we're gonna make a different flavor. We're gonna add a special little ingredient. All right, I found this little condensed milk. Macros on this isn't too bad. Put in oats, I'll put about 85 grams, all right? We're having about 400 mils. Two scoops of the protein. One. And... Yeah, thirsty, huh? It's all right. Okay. All right, so what we're gonna be adding in here is peanut butter. And we're adding in two bananas. I mean, half a banana, sorry, why'd I say two bananas? Adding in one and two bananas in there. It's gonna mix in nice and well. About 30 grams. Honey, nice because what we also are sweetening it with is this ingredient, condensed milk, all right? We're gonna try this out for the first time that I saw this and I'm like, well, this would be really nice. We're putting about 50 grams. We might not need 50 grams. Sometimes I'm just estimating. Let's see how much, ooh, whoa. All right, about 40 grams. Perfect. I want you to give me the honors, my guy. Blend that up. Now, there was a bit of peanut butter that got stuck to the sides. Very nice. I'm going to put it in here for a couple of minutes. See how that reacts. As we're waiting, we're cleaning up. Beautiful. How's the consistency? It's uh, pretty thick. The middle's a bit soupy. Yeah. It? Yeah, it's just the middle sometimes. That's why you got to mix it sometimes. Oh, nice. Just a nice mix. Now, I mean, that could be considered a bit too much on the thick end, if you're happy to have it like that. Nice, smooth. It's a bit hot, be careful. Are we sure to give it a blowy before I... I think that might be the smartest option. Careful. That's good. Yeah? It's like um, banana flavored porridge, kind of. Yeah? Is the banana it. strong? Stronger in this? Or? Yeah, you just gonna paint about a little bit in the background as well. Mm hmm. Very nice. Very good. Nice. All right, guys, there you have it. Three variations of oats, one cutting, two bulking meals, right? We're, we're both here, enjoying our meals, getting them gains going with a bit of protein powder, oats, and milk are like the three main ingredients that you need. The others are just extras and optional. But I just hope maybe it sparks 
some creativity in you guys. You know, when you're making your meals, you know, make them enjoyable. For now, you know, I hope you guys stay safe, take care, stay consistent. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Still here.